Greetings everyone, here is Ludwig again. This is the game One the Pacific Admirals Edition. This is my play by email match against Kilroy. He's the commander of the Allied Forces and for me it's the Empire of Japan. This is scenario 1 on the new map 27. And uh, no other wheel modifications, only that Kilroy have the working US torpedoes already at the start of the war. So no waiting one and a half years to get the torpedoes at summer 43 intact. So still sweeping Batavia, uh, Batan, second day. Yeah, I think the game started with 450 or 600 mines here, so it's really nearly impossible to... Yeah, you cannot uh, avoid this minefield, you must clean it. You can only clean it if you have the coastal battery at Batan uh, silent. So you must first take the hex before you can clean it. Bali Papan also still a lot of mines here to protect the port against enemy submarines or direct landing operations. And some sub hunting at uh, Hawaii. This is Palmaria, but again, no one destroys, no cargo ship, no good target. Here was an empty or not protected cargo ship, but yeah, again failed. Lucky Kilroy. Everywhere sweeping of mines. So if you play the Japanese, always keep this mine sweeping activity in mind. So that after your forces taking the base, you can immediately try to open or reopen the ports. So this is my uh, battleship formation here is running around. Uh, but uh, because I have here the escort carrier inside my task force, uh, I don't try to attack. And uh, yeah, that is my mistake. I normally try to lure the British torpedo bombers. I was hoping that there's not so many any enemy hurricanes, and so that I can maybe lure them and then fight them. But looks like there's nothing coming. At least not now. After I blow the f uh, up the fort of Singapore, I must suppress now the base a little more so that Kilo cannot repair it. Or hopefully, not so fast. And 
in the army is also trying their best. Yeah. At least trying. Sometimes the damage is not so bad. This attack was more successful with the amount of strike craft. And I try to catch this running destroyer as you can see. Kilwa is trying to uh, escape to uh, maybe Darwin or Soabaya, something like this. But the destroyers are maybe already low on fuel and cannot go with high speed. And so I can always catch up. And there's also not much space to maneuver, so there will always be in range of my 6, 7 for my strike aircraft. And this destroyer is going down. Big explosion. You could feel now a little pity for this uh, task force, all of this uh, attempt to mess up with my operation at Port Mosby backfired completely and nearly every ship was involved in this operation is dead now. So one more destroyer, no, normally you can say one destroyer is dead and one is dying. And Paul Jones is maybe the only survivor so far. And here is his uh, cruiser mine there. He's also now dead. Only one cruiser mine. Afternoon bring Uber in China. But also a strong allied airstrike for Nanshang, where we had this battle yesterday and uh, yeah he can disable here a lot of forces mainly support units but also support units will be part of the defense. So also the male guy and uh, the chief and the uh, Whatever is supported for the army, not really fighting, will take a rifle and try to hold the line. So Paul Jones, the last survivor, more or less. Ah, Barker is still float, but for how long?
and now it's also for Paul Jones time to burn. One hit, two hits, both ex I mean penetration is not always. So now there's no destroyer left without damage. And finally, I also can intercept here one more light cruiser trying to wherever go west or east. Out of six torpedoes, only one hit, heavily damaged, but um, not sure if this will go down. So close to uh, Colombo, can maybe simply go back to port and get some repaired in the shipyard. And I 17 get heavily damaged here at uh, Palmar. After a failed attack on the destroyers. With more landing in the Philippines. Yeah, I take now the city Kirwa left behind only the base force to maybe slow me down. Uh, but maybe this it was only simply to slow. And uh, victory, and now Nanyang is also official changing hands. So the Chinese supply lines is now totally broken. All of the forces here in central. China is cut off of, I think, every real supply possibility. Yeah. And they were trying to retreat to Xi'an. My yeah, armored car still shooting at the enemy. I arrived here with the 17th Division, but wasn't able to take part of the battle. But tomorrow, tomorrow yeah. So I take the bridge, or dot base here, I don't know what is more left. Easy. The last base before Pekan. And this is now Kiroi making a bombardment. I think his forces have a high fatigue, so he must wait a little. And he has much more firepower than my Japanese. But if I can hold him for some days, then yeah. So air losses for me a little higher, but I consume them simply, dive attacks, sometimes maybe mechanical issue or pilot dive too deep and then cannot swing back and uh, maybe crash the airplane in the sea. Hopefully after he releases bomb then he dives maybe at least some meaningful. But I mean every pilot come back so I lost my airframe so all of these airframes are only Consumed by maybe activity. Um, yeah, I lost my pilot, so and uh, I was not able to. Uh, if this I uh, know true or not. I mean, the cruiser mine layer go down. And normally, maybe two destroyers and one or two light cruisers. Yeah. So these are different classes. C class. This is light really light the cruisers with five and a half thousand this is maybe like a japanese light cruiser they still have the better armament but they have single mounts like the japanese they also have all single mounts so this is uh, a really outdated design and this is already e-class design they have uh, still single mounts uh, but they're bringing a lot more weight on the table so 75 millimeter armor belt against uh, oh, they have the same armor belt, okay. 
Warte, less guns. Okay. Gut. Äh. Ja, so, I. Nanyang Fall, the last dot base, I try already to yeah, catch up. Maybe Kill will keep you one or two units to force me to attack here so that he, I cannot go directly to Xi'an. Saves him more. more. He always save one, two, three days, maybe with this. But the question is, if there's any unit left, he can build up a defense. Hard to say. His Nanyang army is now destroyed. Maybe he can fall back with them to Xi'an and maybe arrive. Because he can do, go directly from this hex to Nanyang. I can only go for one hex, battle and one hex. This costs simply more time. I also catch here this 19 units. He was retreating, but... I arrived just a hex, I can try to attack, but maybe Kilo already can escape to the next hex. Uh, hey, maybe his final goal is to take Xin Yang before he, I can catch him, but I have air force, so I can always slow him down. We will see. Uh, Pegu is in reach. I can now walk here the highway, no river crossing, so two days and I attack on Pegu and then I finally strike from Wengun. Yeah, and my ships are coming back to Georgetown, so maybe next turn it's time to attack Singapore again. I don't know how the how is the moral situation? Oh, fatigue is better check. Uh, yeah, disruption is still a little high. We must wait maybe one more turn to get at least disruption under 10. Fatigue is not good, but disruption, I think, is more important to have the slowest possible. Reasonable low. I mean, you can always wait for better, better, better. Uh, mm, now the map is clean of any task force. So, my carriers are already... I have my carriers here. So, I really cannot go much more far away. I am low on fuel and uh, I don't have any cover force. It's a little dangerous to stay here. And uh, maybe Kira's carriers will show up sooner or later. Maybe he's waiting that I consume all my torpedoes and yeah, low on fuel and then he won't maybe attack me again. I don't know. So I better not try too much here. Maybe return to Rabul and uh, refill and rearm and be ready for the next operation. Yeah. Nothing else here on the map to see. There is something incoming, moving west, not sure what this is, but early warning, uh, scout airplanes find incoming ships, and I must maybe, the question is only what I can prepare, I don't have real much. I can scout some, yes, and I have submarines and patrol boats, but I cannot spare any heavy units normally in this water so far. Uh, yeah, maybe my carriers in India Ocean. Uh, this was my battleship group. I tried to lure the enemy. Uh, my carriers are not uh, just not in range, so pity. Eleven is a little too far away. So I can try to close the range and maybe then uh, maybe I lure out the uh, Kilroy and then keep my carriers here nearby and then if he's coming to catch my ships and I can maybe sink him. I don't know. We will see. Yeah, big next operation is really only Singapore must fall this yeah now soon and quickly and then normally next is Ringun before I start with my operations against Java. Tarakan I can really skip and Miri. They are both not so important for me. More important is Palm Bang and Bali Papan, then I have air bases to attack Java in long range attacks. Good. Then see you next time. Take care, bye bye.